Hello, a great day to all friends, followers, listeners. How are you all? Hope all will find it very awesome. Welcome to Trace Profit Alls. Today, going to read the news section for you guys. As you guys asked me about this new awesome strategy on Darwin Index. This is the first strategy on the YouTube and the social media and other platforms. No one explained this strategy and no one know about this. Of course, of course, if someone knows, I posted before mine. So today, going to share a next step of. This strategy. I hope you guys learn a lot on the demo practice, and I hope you guys are interested in this strategy. So let's get started, guys. First point, second, third, and one by one, I will explain all points so you can understand better and clearly. Okay. So first of all, as I told you, the start of the day, you have to mark the start of the day. As you guys looking here, the red lines, the vertical lines, is showing that I just marked the vertical lines, is showing the start of the day. Okay. What's mean at the start of the day? It's mean that broker start his working day from this. So the market to start the next day from this price. Okay. Now first of all, we have to mark the vertical line if you're using your desktop, a laptop, a PC, Mac, any device. Okay. We have big screen, so you will use vertical lines. If you would use smartphone, iPhone, any other device that the pocket device that you're using for trading. You will check the M30 and automatically meter trader charts show. And sometimes we need to pick the cross here and move and check the date and also the time to see start of the day. But first of all, what you need to guys look. First of all, you guys need to look at start of the day, first candle and the second candle. No need to worry about areas of week, shadow of candle. Okay, just simply go and mark two candles, open and close, or if you wish to mark the wick and shadow of a candle, you can, no problem. If you wish to just mark open and close, you can. Okay, this is enough to understand the IB. We call this one, we call this area, start of the day, first two candles, we call this IB area. It's mean initial balance, start of the market, the first two candles will tell us what's going on. Okay, what's going to happen here in market? First of all, till that day end, you have to extend this IB and you will understand clearly how the IB will work for you. First thing you need to understand, once the market cross the IB area, cross the IB area and start going upward, so it's mean that market is gonna buy for you. This is the buy opportunity, okay? And this is your auction point, okay? And once market break this IB lines, IB area, so it's mean auction is started, okay? It's called auction point and auction is started. You will go for a buy. Until the market fail and go back, rejected from this resistance, you will hold your trade, okay? Or once your trade is in a profit, go and set your trading stop and move step by step so you, your trade will be safe in case the market come back downward, okay? So, after closing, this is a buy trade, and once market started going down, you don't have any confirmation, the market will go down. No need to look at previous history and the previous data for our analysis, you will understand this one. Okay, and once market come back to the IP area and give the breakout, breakout, breakout from this initial balance area, this initial balance area, and market start going downward, so it's mean that my kid will go and give us a sale opportunity, but we have to confirm how to confirm and how to enter the secure. Now it's time to look back. Previous history. Just go scroll this area backward, scroll the area and break backward and see what was there. Okay. Remember, here is some major references. What's reference? It's called support and resistance. I will say reference so you guys understand. I'm talking about support and resistance. What you will do, you will go and check the previous, previous day close, poor low area, poor low area, and also the poor high area. Now, these all are your references. Just to go and extend this line. Once the market come there, you have to close your trade. And once market come here, you have to close your trade. Okay, look here, market started going downward to this a previous reference, previous reference, poor low. We now here is a previous low and poor reference. So because of that, never traded this cell. Never traded cell this from breakout of IB, start of the day, two candles, and market started going down, 
we are not here in trade why because of this area this area is also showing the market was there uh, this one is previous week okay a previous low area so we are not going to trade what we are going to do after breakout of this IB area, after breakout of this IB area, once the market started going upward, we are going to enter for the buy, and again we are going to trade this buy, buy setup. And once the market reached to this buy, look here. After this buy, market went to sell and again rejected because of this heavy support through this resistance. So market started going again buy after the breakout of this IB. You entered here and market reverse from this candle no need to worry no need to panic because your stop loss here okay your stop loss here or i will prefer to pick the stop loss the previous low area of this candle okay you also have a double bottom okay and you also have some pin bars and also doji's type candles here okay so now into your buy from here now once market go to ib area and after breakout look at the start candle marbles is showing the market will go up you entered here you exited here you stop loss hit by my market and you went down again went down you seen that market is in ib area and now it break up at the bullish candle after the breakout you entered your trade and market went to a new high again new low and again new high low and high so once the day start you just need to do what first of all go and mark the ib two candles first two candles first two candles first two candles mark the first two candles and uh, once market give you the opportunity go and buy how to buy look here at the previous previous reference which is showing the market was rejected in previous days from this area so we are not going to trade this because we have a strong reference from previous history it's showing that market was rejected from this point so we are not going to trade we are going to trade from this point after breakout of an ib ib area breakout and market went here to previous reference and market started going upward from this point to this point so now we understand that market will go rising in from this point so after that IB area is breakout, so now we understand that we have a strong reference from the previous point. So we are going to trade from this point to upward. So this is a bullish trade and a buy trade. We are going to trade this. Okay, no need to worry, no need to panic. You just go analysis and check the previous support and the resistance. You will understand clearly where market was rejected in the previous day, where market was started breaking, and where market was started previous auction also where auction completed, where auction failed, where auction rejected, you will understand clearly. Always use support and resistance, always use money management, always use good thing, you will understand clearly. And now here, you enter the trade buy, or look here, market went to buy. Let me explain some more points, let me explain some more points from the history, so you guys understand very clearly, very easily, and no worries while you trade. Okay, so let me explain some more points and easily to you guys look here market started from this point we are going to mark the ib area first candle two candles we are going to extend this and okay and the market started going down after breakout of this ib area we started selling look here we are in sale we are in sale okay and after selling we've seen that market is rejected from this point so let's scroll this and see what's the reference in the previous history now here is the single print. We call this single print. This candle, look here. This candle, I just marked up. This candle is showing this is a single print. A single print is a very good reference. Okay. And market is rejected from this point. So we are not going to trade this sale for long. Because we have a strong reference here. It's single print. You guys can Google what is single print. Okay. Single print activity or what is single print reference. You guys will stand clearly. Okay. Another market is started going apart from this point. We are in trade. No, we are not in trade. We are waiting for auction. Auction point. Once the market is started, auction point. Wait a Look at this point. The IB zone. Look at the IB zone. Our market started going upward. So that was complete auction of a buy trade. 
Uh, once market reached to this point, at that level, now we have secured. We have secured a profit call that we have previous reference is then selling tail. This week, the candle and this candle week also showing this is an selling tail. So it's mean the market will go fall down. Okay. So in that case, we will, in this case, we are going to close the trade and waiting for market to go back to your IB area. And once market come back to your IB area and went down, but we have a strong reprint, let's extend this area. And have you seen, here is a single print activity and which is rejected one, second, third, and the fourth time. The fourth time market rejected from this zone. So now it's time to trade for buy opportunity. So just wait for IB area. Once market give us a breakout from IB area, you are going to trade for buy opportunity. Auction is started from this point and here is a close. And next day also started, you have a good refresh that market closed here. And next day started also from this buy opportunity, you still in buy. And look at it, this is an awesome buy. I hope you guys understand very easily, very awesome. You guys just need to practice this strategy. It's really very helpful, very good, very powerful strategy. You guys, you guys go check the demo, please give some practice. Scroll the chart and give a back test of the history so you guys understand, do better analysis, do good money management, practice a lot of, and you guys now the practice makes man perfect. I hope today lecture is enough for you guys. I hope you guys will make money and a lot of things. If you still have any question, any doubt, any problem, what analysis, what problem in trading, just come and comment, type in comments. I will check most comments. I'm going to launch a new video for you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bless you guys. Hit the subscribe button. Also press the bell icon so you guys receive latest video notification on time. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.